yogurt has been a part of the human diet for several millennia and goes by many names throughout the world. The word yogurt is believed to have come from the Turkish word yogurt mark, which means to thicken, coagulate or curdle. While references to the health-promoting properties of yogurt date back to 6000 BC in Indian Ayurvedic scripts, it was not until the 20th century that S. Grigoro, a Bulgarian medical student, attributed the benefits of lactic acid bacteria. Today, most yogurt is fermented milk that is acidified with viable and well-defined bacteria, lactobacillus, bulgarius and streptococcus thermophiles. All around the world, people eat yogurt, but many different countries and regions have their own take on this fermented dairy product. There are many different yogurt varieties and production methods. Stirred, set, concentrated, frozen and drinking yogurt. Some are sweet, some are savory. They can be eaten as a snack or as an ingredient in cooking. One thing that makes yogurt special is that it has milk's nutritional value while also containing living bacteria that can be good for your digestive system. Yogurt has a special production process that goes like this. First, milk goes through a number of basic steps for quality control to achieve the right fat content to reduce the size of fat droplets, to prevent a layer of cream forming and for safety. To turn milk into a typical stirred type yogurt that you eat with the spoon, the milk goes through some additional process steps by using mixture. Protein sugar can be added for thickness and sweetness. In the next step, the yogurt milk is heated slightly and homogenized again. This gives the yogurt a creamier texture. Next is heat treatment. A heat exchanger is used to heat the yogurt milk to a high temperature, 95 degrees Celsius, for 5 minutes. This affects the milk proteins, improving their ability to form a gel structure. The yogurt milk is then cooled to 43 degrees Celsius and pumped into a fermentation tank. But why 43 degrees Celsius? Because this is the perfect at which the yogurt cultures, which are now added, multiply. This is a crucial stage in the journey from milk to yogurt. Yogurt culture contains a specific set of bacteria. This works together to ferment the milk by consuming lactose, the sugar that is actually present in milk. This turns it into lactic acid and aromas, which gives yogurt its unique tangy taste. As the amount of lactic acid increases, the pH of the milk decreases. The milk protein reacts to the decrease in pH by coagulating, which thickens the milk. Now it's starting to look like yogurt. This fermentation process takes about 4 to 8 hours. From now on, it's important to be very gentle with the yogurt so as not to destroy its structure. The yogurt is carefully stirred and cooled by pumping it through a heat exchanger, lowering the temperature to about 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, decreases the activity of the bacteria. Otherwise, the yogurt would become too so. The yogurt is filled into packages in filling machine, then put into cold storage. Here it reaches its final temperature and thickness. So there you go, a special production process for a special dairy product.